but we knew we had a, a difficult task. Um, we had heard rumors yesterday that they might be missing some guys, but uh, obviously you lose uh, Greg Brown and you lose Kai uh, Jones and you lose Cunningham, three experienced guys. Uh, it would be a, a, a tough chore to recover from them, but there's, you know, basically their starting lineup is still there. You got guys coming off the bench. Hepa was is started against us last year in the past. Um, you know, Fabres has started against us. Donovan Williams has started against us. So they they have pretty good depth. I, I thought their guard play was really good. Obviously, that the, we're 12 to 12, I, I believe, and then they go on an 18-0 run on us. Um, you know, we knew we'd have trouble with their half court defense. They're able to switch and guard a lot of. Uh, you know, when you got Jericho Sims that can guard your point guard and stay in front of you or your two guard, uh, it, it puts you in a little bit of a bind. You got to have somebody step up and make a play. But I, I knew that would be tough. I did not think we would struggle with their press. And, uh, you know, just those three, four turnovers against the press led to layups. Then they got, they beat us in transition. And then they started, they go five, what, seven for. 14 or something at halftime from three. So you just mix it in and, uh, you know, you got a, you got a big deficit to come back. Uh, you know, again, credit to our guys. Uh, they did not quit. Uh, they battled. They, you know, we talked about getting assists in the second half. Uh, you know, we had two assists at halftime. We got 10 assists second half. We shot 57%. When we moved the basketball and we played together and shared a basketball, um, we're not a bad team, but um, when we try to do stuff on our own, um, you know, we're, we're not old enough to do that. You, you got a, a guy like Coleman who's probably started more games than all our, our, all our players combined. Um, so they, you know, Ramey, all those guys, they've been through it. Jericho, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's a tough task for us, but uh, you know, we, all we can do is our best. Obviously we've, We've had a bunch of issues to deal with, and, uh, you know, it was great to get Luke in the game. It was great to get Antonio a little time back. He hadn't been in in 21 days. Um, you know, just uh, Surrey didn't practice for eight days, practiced yesterday and played. So uh, you just, you know, you just got to make the best of it. I hope our guys keep their spirit up and hope we keep improving. That was the message at halftime. Let's, let's get better in the second half. And I, you know, obviously that's not a consolation, but we did make improvement. Now you got a quick turnaround with Oklahoma. Get back late tonight. Uh, short practice tomorrow. Uh, early, early morning practice on Monday, and get on a bus, go down there. Uh, you got obviously a, a team that just beat TCU by 40, so they got to be feeling pretty good without Manick, without Hill, that they're able to do that. So hopefully we can. Uh, uh, step up and, and play w with some a uh, little more patience, a little better pace, and not have that panic like we had in that one stretch. Thank you, Coach. We'll start with a question from Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Coach, <clears throat> you mentioned that they kind of got away from you. I think it got up to, what, 28 points here in the second half. Um, I, I'm not looking for moral victories here, but the way you guys finished down the stretch to get it to 15, um, there was no quit, and that's got to be a good thing to see. Yeah, you know, there, I appreciate that, and I told the guys, but again, I just told Wyatt and Stan, there's no consolation. We didn't come here to say, hey, you, you didn't quit, and you got back into it. We we got to be better. We we all have to be better, and, and we got to take responsibility. It starts with me. It starts with our staff and, and down through the older guys. Uh, they all got to get – they all got to be better and we got to, we got to listen. Uh, we have to stay together uh, and we got to keep improving. And, and hopefully as we slowly but surely get bodies back, um, we can, we can play the way we, we, we should play and we need to play. Um, and, you know, but right now we just, you just keep battling, hanging in there, doing your best with what, what the situation is. Uh, and that press they they threw at you probably good your team saw but it was awfully disruptive wasn't it? Yeah, it was, and it, it wasn't. I mean, it's not like it used to be. Shaka's teams, that was their thing, and and they do it to just dis disrupt you. But obviously, we thought as a staff that they were going to come at us. We did practice against it, even though it didn't look like it. Um, you know, we just you know Mike made the first turnover, Rudy made another turnover, 
Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if Selton threw one away. Um, you know, you combine that with then some transition, some bad possessions, and that's where, you know, we just need somebody to man up and and help us, you know, break the, the, the spurt. Oklahoma State, it's, it's a 10 to 1 spurt at the end of the half. Um, you know, those are, the, those are the times where somehow we got to execute a little better, uh, man up on the defense and make a play, get a rebound, uh, and, and, and have a good execution on the other end to give ourselves a chance to stay in games. And what did you see from Luke tonight? I mean, it, it, this is a young man that hasn't played basketball since last March. Is, you know, he, he beat Davion to go to the Final Four, and then they didn't play the Final Four. Um, you know, really is probably practiced with the team five days, maybe four or five days. Uh, this is since, you know, since he got here. So it, it um, and we just wanted to get him some minutes and we talked to his parents. We didn't, I probably went too many. I told them six or eight, uh, just want to get him in there and uh, get, get a, get a feel of it. And, uh, you know, same thing, you know, with some of the other guys, you, you brought it up a couple, I don't know if it was the last, uh, teleconference or whatever but you know because of the situation we've been able to get some guys experience and and that's all you can you hope each time they're they get a little better and and make some improvement is this a situation where a kid like that probably doesn't see the floor if it's not for the unique nature of this season yeah in, in this he, game? He, he, you know it's this late in the season you're probably going to redshirt him mm -hmm. I, I would not play him and make him waste a year, but you know, obviously, you get the year back. So now, if he can, if he can get some minutes and get get a little confidence and get a feel of it, and and help us, uh, it's great for him and 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 for our team and our future. Thanks, coach. Next question to Kellis Robinette. Uh, what one more on on Luke here? What what is his ceiling this year? Um, I mean, we uh, we didn't even get to see him take a shot today. Once he gets his yeah, feet under now, him and everything. I was gonna when he was at eight minutes or six minutes or something. I was gonna take him out. And I I told the coaches, I, I I know I probably shouldn't have, but I let's get him a shot. I was hoping we get a shot at they went zone, um, and and we were hoping that uh, get him get just get a shot up. But you know, the, again, you. I just it's it, the ceiling right now is just get experience and you know oh I, I thought he had a good week of practice he did some good things but it's a whole different thing to go out here and play against uh you know some of the elite guards in the country a team that's experienced and, and really good so you know but it, it's got to help him uh, he is smart he's got a little toughness got a little moxie to him and uh you know I, I and he knows the game I think that's uh, his big one of his biggest attributes and I mean, just it, maybe it's hard to tell on TV, but it, it seemed like finishing at the rim was just a challenge at times for your guys. Was that something they were doing on defense or just the mistakes they were making on offense? Well, that's, you know, that, you know, one, we finally got to the free throw line in the second half. We, we you know, we went at them. And, um, you know, they, I said, it's our worst nightmare. I just told Stan and Wyatt, I told them before the game, with their switching defense with us, we don't have the, the, the go-to guy that can just go make a play and take somebody and, and stop the bleeding. Um, you know, and we went at them, but, you know, they're, they're pretty talented. And, and you, you know, Jericho's an elite, elite athlete. Uh, they got some other guys that are pretty quick and athletic. And their power and strength and explosion uh, just makes it difficult for us to finish. And uh, that was, you know, we talked about it all week and we worked on it in our individual workouts taking the ball to them, get, putting your shoulder into them to give you a, you know, a chance to either get a hoop or at least get to the free throw line. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Travel safe. Yep. Next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, how was Dejuan Gordon's uh, ankle and – did you play him more minutes than you anticipated? Yeah, probably he he might have tweaked it on the, one of his last drives. He probably didn't have the explosion. Um, you know, again, a credit to Luke Sauber and and Dejuan. Uh, on Sunday, he it was double the size, and he he couldn't walk. Um, he had to be on crutches for a couple of days. Uh, you know, literally six to eight hours of treatment for Monday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, got him at least where he was running in the pool on Tuesday, got some shots up on Wednesday, 
uh, practice a little bit on Thursday. Uh, we had to back off. He had he was it was really soaring and pain on Friday, so he didn't he w didn't do anything live, and that's why we didn't start him. Um, you know, and and maybe match up wise too with Tony, but uh, you know he he he's a he has a big heart. Uh, he cares. He wants to do well. I I just hope we didn't overdo it. Um, and I I, I, I want to you know he wants to stay in the game and he gets mad, but at the same time it was just like on practice on Thursday, I said, get out. And he goes, no, I'm fine. Well, then the next day he's not fine. So hopefully we didn't overdo it. And at full strength, is he that slashing guy that can be the, the run stopper? Yeah, I, I hope he can, you know, we, I thought we attacked some closeouts better in the second half. Not got to the hoop, you know, Rudy missed one. You know, we still shot, we shot 57 second half and still missed a couple of easy ones, but I, I thought the ball movement was great. The assists were much better, um, you know. And 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 I I just I sat on the bench and just I started a little chant. I want assists. I want assists. And I they just kind of looked at me like I was crazy. But that, that's that's the only way we're gonna have a chance to be successful. And what was the biggest issue in, in locating their shooters in that first half stretch? Well, they're just good. They they you know I, I thought we did a great job preparation. Uh, they beat us in transition. They, obviously, they, the press hurt us, but in the half court, uh, they just make the right reads. They share it. Uh, Ramey's a young uh, young man that I look on the year in the league. I think he has 11 assists and he gets nine assists. And that, you know, he, he lost himself to the team and made the right plays, the right reads, uh, and made the an extra pass, the next pass. Uh, and it always helps to make the threes. <laughs> and, you know, we, we had some threes early that I thought were pretty good. And then we missed them and then we forced some threes, but at least we, we settled down and shot a little better and didn't force as many in the second half. And you mentioned getting to the line. Is that an aggressive play, something that you're continuing to encourage? Yeah, it, it's, it's gotta be if we, we, we haven't shot free throws and, you know, I, I can't, I, I guess I complain to the rest, but some of it's us and, and, you got to play strong to get. You got to go through the guy to get a chance at a foul. You can't fade away and think that uh, this is grown man basketball. This is Big Twelve basketball. You're, if you you get bumped at at eight feet and then fade away, they're not calling a foul. These guys, they you got to play strong and take the ball to the hoop. I, I, I hopefully we learned something tonight and, and did a little better with that. Thank you, Bruce. Next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Coach. Um, Casey, how's he coming along? Do you think he can be back for next game? And how important will be he be for the depth of that? Well, that he gives us a, a physical presence. And, and I, I hope he's – I there's a chance he'll be there Tuesday. I would think by next Saturday he's he, – he went from, you know, the running in the pool to the individual workouts to last week uh, being a little bit involved in practice. Uh, again, I'm not – I, at this point in the season, I can't push him. I want him, to, he's got to be confident in his knee because the worst thing could happen if uh, he's not ready and we push it. But, uh, you know, he definitely could give us uh, some some physicality and, and explosiveness and maturity and a lot of different things. Uh, and, you know, it, it hopefully it'll be nice to get him back, if and, you know, sooner than later. And I feel like you've talked about this, you know, in the last pre uh, press conference, but how proud of you are you of your team and your staff and everyone involved just being able to keep the spirits high through this adversity? Yeah, you know, just – you just got to – you know, we have – what are we up to now? Four, 13 games, 14 games. Uh, there's a lot of people that aren't anywhere near that, half of that. So, um, a credit to our guys. And, and, you know, it's not exactly the record we want, but we have gotten experience. Now we got to use the experience and get better. And, and you know, I, I, again, I, I, I love our guys. They, they care. They, they, the effort is there. But now the mental part, the learning the game, uh, you know, just – and that's why you go, against, you go against these experienced guards, Baylor's guards, different – these teams you played against, learn from them. And, and, you know, if you learn from them, it, 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 that's going to help you get better as the next time we face them, uh, help us get better, you know, as we move forward in the season and then hopefully in the future. 